Hey, peace family. Have you ever heard of the analogy, you don't change the flower, you change the environment? Meaning, if there's some reason that the flower is not blooming, it's not the flower, it's the environment. I just want to show you something real quick. I brought a lot of these plants from up north in Maryland. And a lot of you know I'm down in Florida, Tampa, Florida now. And these plants, the ones that I brought from Maryland, have absolutely exploded. And I had some of, like this one specifically, I had for years. And it was just one. It was just this tall one right here. I changed the environment, come to a place where it's sunny year-round, give them water, give them love, and this thing has blown up. It now has six different parts, and this part is all new. All I'm saying here is simple. Change your environment. <laughs> it's not you. Change your environment and you'll grow. And to elaborate on this just a little bit, you know, because some will say, like, you need to change your way of thinking and you need to change your reaction to things. And, and that absolutely is a change in yourself. However, that change comes from, again, changing your environment. Because if you haven't been thinking that way, what's going to all of a sudden make you think that way? You need to be surrounded by people who think like that. You need to be reading books that make you believe and, and truly believe in yourself like that. You know, it, it really comes down to changing your circle around you because then that's going to give you a new influence of information to take in. Remember, we all are experiencing this world based on our experiences. So if you have never experienced trick-or-treating, going trick-or-treating once is going to blow your mind, right? But changing your environment to where that's just the norm, it's just like the rest of it's not. And I use that example for Halloween because I have a really good friend of mine who just took her friend and her friend's kids out for trick-or-treating last night. And the kids had never experienced it before. And they weren't just little babies, you know? And so the kids were blown away just comparing it to the movies, you know? Like just... Imagine those little babies, how they went to bed last night, thinking like how incredible that was, right? And, but then other kids who have been going every year and have huge expectations for the displays and all, like they may have actually been like, eh, whatever, that was fine. And I use that, that analogy because I want you to think of failure. And some of us come across failure for the first time. We're just, it just knocks us off our feet. And you have to get around people who are used to failure. And a failure is just another failure. We're looking for a more impressive failure. You may, that may, I don't know if that analogy is gonna work. It's on my mind right now, so you can let me know. But, you know, it really is that. It's, it's, there's a book out there called Failing Forward by John Maxwell, which has always been a huge favorite of mine. And it's all about turning, the, turning your mistakes into the stepping stones of success. And a good friend of mine, he always says that failures and mistakes are literally the prerequisites to success. Meaning you won't attain success unless you get out there and fail. It's never going to, it doesn't work the first time. It never does. So you have to be okay with failure. You have to be okay with not hitting your goals. You have to be okay with having to reset and readjust and look for a new coach to help guide you in new ways. You have to do that or else you're not challenging yourself. You're not reaching for the stars. They always, what is it? It's like, it's shoot for the stars so you land on the moon, regardless, or shoot for the moon so you land amongst the stars anyway. So as you make your way into this new month, and as we finish out the year, and as you get ready to crush 2022, think about how many times did you put yourself in position to fail this year? Like how many times did you challenge yourself to that point where you knew failure was an option, was certainly on the table. You know, I'm, you know, they make the joke of, you know, entrepreneurs will jump out of the plane and build the parachute on the way down. For anyone who's known me for years, I jump, I take opportunity, I make a move. I, I may tell you about it, but it's because I decided to do it three, four weeks ago. <laughs> you know, like it's, I have, I have a small circle of mentors that I consult with. And if they're like, hey man, give it a shot. You got time. Why not? I go for it. So this is my challenge to you. Think about how could you challenge yourself this month and anything that you're struggling with, write it all down, circle what you can control and what you can't control, X out what you can and focus on what you can control.